my, my sort of obsession with time in general. Reworking of time or obsessing over certain moments of time. I have problems with controlling everything. So you become sort of more like a director to your work, which is quite a strange process. What we're doing is um, Mark has set up the scenario where um, I'm busking on the streets and at the point that somebody walks past me, I skip like a CD, I'm starting to glitch. My work for this competition is going to be a new neon sculpture containing the words tomorrow, remember yesterday. The T, the R and the Y will be standing up and the rest of the text will be laid on the floor, almost like a memorial to itself. It's a relatively new way of working for me, the, the neon. You see it and it makes you want to kind of take it home. Um, neon itself has a, a life a lifespan and has to be replaced from time to time. This is something I'm trying to articulate in the text I use for this new work. Mark gives me a few ideas of, of, of his um, and then I bend up a few pieces of glass and um, then he normally comes in uh, a couple of days later. And this idea of someone essentially making your work for you when it's sculptural work is very weird. Well, the, the sentiment of tomorrow, remember yesterday, is this idea that only in the future we'll remember what's just past. It continues an ongoing theme in my practice that I'm trying to capture a moment of interest to in myself um, and isolate that and repeat it indefinitely. My ideas are taken on so many shapes and forms, you know, like I can't even commit to, to, to a medium. I have this weird kind of curatorial approach to my own practice, which is to develop a, a body of work over my entire life that then makes complete sense of itself when you look back on it. You kind of just put it out there, you just let a bit of yourself go, and then you put it in a room and you walk away from it. <laughs> 